Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing great. If you guys follow me on Instagram at Coupon World, I have shown you this butler's tray table that I had purchased at the flea market. Because you know, you guys know I love a flea market, I love bargain shopping, I love flipping anything that I can. And I came across this butler's tray table, but I want you to get a good look at it because it didn't always look this way. And I'm going to show you the before. Now, right now I have it sitting in my guest bedroom because I had another table here that I had temporarily. You know, I paid like, what, $3, $3 for it. And I always knew I wanted to change something out. You know, there's a tip. If you're in the search for looking for some type of furniture and it costs a lot, be patient. You know, try to shop. Shop thrift before you run out and spend a lot of money because you really can't transform furniture or a tray table like this for a lot less. So sit tight and I want to show you how it looked before. Okay everyone, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. As you can see here, I'm going to be making a Chanel tray. Now I've seen these on Etsy, online, and they're super expensive. For a tray, they're $275. That's the starting point, and I just don't see paying that kind of money for a tray. So I'm going to try to achieve the look for a whole lot less, and I think you guys can too. So this tray you're looking at here is not the same one that you saw before. I switched it out because I needed a larger tray because the other one was too small from where I was putting it at. So I got this tray from Ross. Over the summer, it was like $11.99, great buy, nice size, it was just the wrong color. So I plan on changing that out by using some of my black acrylic paint. And as you can see here, I already started blue taping it out because that's where I want to put the black acrylic paint is cover up the bright orange. And so that's the first thing I'm going to be doing. The second thing that I've done was, I've already done it as you see here, that's right, I cut the letters in the Chanel sign out. How I did that was I went on to Google and I Googled Chanel logos and this is what came up that I wanted to use. The only thing is, is when I printed it, it was too small and I needed a real big one because as you can see the tray is very substantial so I needed one that was going to be proportionate to the tray that I'm using it on and all I did was I cut it out with scissors and a, an exacto knife here. You can get these at Michael's or any craft store. The other thing too, if you guys are really good crafters, I'm not a good crafter so this didn't work out too good for me, but the Martha Stewart adhesive stencil film is excellent because it has a sticky backing on the back so when you cut out the Chanel logo you could pretty much, you know, if you did it with the stencil you could kind of put it on the tray. I just couldn't do it. I don't have a steady hand. The other thing too is once you have everything on it, you know, have it to where you want it and just, you know, just kind of mimic what, what you saw on on Google <laughs> and try to, you know, center it and everything and have all your, your letters right and then you could decoupage it. And that's what I'm planning on doing is decoupaging it and then after that I'm going to let it dry for like a day or so and I had a piece of glass cut to fit the tray. This way it can protect my masterpiece and that's all that I'm going to be doing. This project is super, super simple and all it's going to take is a little time and patience. Okay everyone, so here's another way that you can utilize the tray. Here I have it sitting on top of the guest bed and you can serve your, your guests breakfast in bed. And all I have here is some strawberries, some blackberries, some coffee, some croissants, and a nice candle burning. The only thing missing is the newspaper. And you can wrap that newspaper in a piece of ribbon to match the decor that's on the bed. And if you guys want to see steps to this tray that I've made, you know, check out my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com and I'll have step-by-step -step instructions on how you can, you know, transform a tray or any flea market find that looks similar to what I have into a nice beautiful tray. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll be talking to you guys very soon. Thanks my friends. Bye bye.